Let's today talk about one of the best remedies for not just menopausal symptoms, but also menstrual problems. And I'm talking about PMS related symptoms, okay? Now, does this remedy work 100% of the time? Absolutely not. Sometimes you have to use other things like vitamin E, like uh, the iodine in sea kelp, uh, and there's various other remedies that I recommend. But this particular remedy does work the majority of time, okay? Whether you have hot flashes, night sweats, mood changes, weight gain, or sleep problems, or even uterine fibroids, or you have menstrual issues like cramping, depression, anxiety, irregular periods, PMS. And of course, PMS is basically describing these symptoms. And then this is an advanced form of PMS where you have just worsening of the symptoms, or you have fertility issues because you have PCOS, which stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. So if you have any of these, what I'm gonna recommend is black cohosh. Let me explain why. If you do research on this topic, there's a tremendous amount of technical data, but let me just summarize on one mechanism that I found that makes a lot of sense, okay? So we have this hypothalamus in your brain. It's the master controller of all your hormones. And it works with this other thing called the pituitary, which is the next uh, level controller in your endocrine system. So the hypothalamus releases this communication to tell the pituitary to release its hormones. And so this hormone is called gonadotropic releasing hormone. Okay, so it's telling the pituitary to release these two right here, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. So these hormones right here come down and tell the ovaries to release estrogen, progesterone, and also to release the egg in the ovary. Okay, so this is what's involved. This whole thing is a circuit, okay? It's a communication circuit. So when these hormones are causing these different communications, and then there's a return communication, very similar to a thermostat where you're actually uh, sensing certain information, and then you're going to turn off the cooling or the heat at a certain temperature. And so the endocrine system has all these little receptors to turn off the hormones once they reach a certain level. And so we have this whole thing going on that's constantly adapting to the environment and what you eat and your emotions and stress, et cetera. And one thing you need to know about estrogen, if estrogen is too high or too low, okay, you're gonna have a lot of issues uh, because estrogen is a mood stabilizer. It's required for serotonin production. So if estrogen drops, as in um, after pregnancy, you can become very depressed or even around perimenopause, you can be very depressed. And so a lot of these symptoms that you might have occur because the dramatic change is either too high or too low. Now, as far as black cohosh goes, the phytonutrients in black cohosh have some very interesting effects, okay? It has the ability to lower this communication right here, gonadotropic releasing hormone, as well as lowering follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, thereby helping to balance this whole circuitry. Now, as far as what it does to estrogen, um, it doesn't necessarily increase it very much or decrease it. It helps to balance it because it's a selective estrogen receptor modulator. Now, what the heck does that mean? It basically means it regulates the receptors for estrogen. So if you have too much estrogen or not enough estrogen, it can help to balance that to a certain degree. But like I said, black cohosh is a really good remedy for these symptoms, but not 100%. So if it doesn't work for you, there's other things to try like vitamin E, like sea kelp. And I will put some links down below for more videos on this topic. And I think the next most appropriate video to watch would be the one on estrogen. I put it up right here, check it out.